So we are asked is 0 0.4444. A rational number. Now, by definition, we know that a rational number is a number which can be written in p by q form, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. Also, 0 0.44444 can be written as 0 0.4 where this line basically denotes that this number is a repeating number. Now in such a case basically how do we do it? I mean it's easier for me to write down 0.444 and whatever it is divide by 1.000 but the fact of the life is there is no n to 0 out here because we know that this number is repeating. So what we saw in problem number 1 may not be applicable in this case. Okay, so here basically what we do is we assume that let 0 0.4 be a rational number. equal to x. So if this is a rational number, let's say the value of that rational number is x. We know that the value of this rational number is 0.4444 and so on. Okay. Now, thereafter what we need to do is we need to put in step 1 wherein we multiply both the sides by multiple of 10. Now whether you need to multiply this by 10 or 100 or 1000 is a factor of how many repeating factors do you have here? If suppose instead of 0.44, I would have had say 0.434343, then kind of I would have two repeating digits and instead of multiplying it by 10, I would have done this by 100 where I have the number of zeros is equal to the number of repeating factors. Because it's one only, so we multiply both the sides by 10. So what do we get is 10x is equal to 4.4.4.4. Okay. Now this can also be written as 10x is equal to 4 plus 0.40. Right? I've just broken down this as 4 plus this number. But what I know is that this number is equal to x. So I can write this as 10x is equal to 4 plus x. If I solve these two equations, I get 10x minus x is equal to 4. Or in other words, 9x is equal to 4, which means that x is equal to 4 divided by 9, which is a rational number. So the idea behind doing this thing is, that as step one, whenever you have these repeating factors, find out what is the number of repeating factors are there. Let's say it is one in this case. And we assume that, you know, assuming this is a rational number, then let that rational number be equal to x. Now, because the value of these two have to be equal, so x or that rational number has to be equal to this number. Step one, we multiply this. Okay, actually let's put this as step 2. In step 1, we equate value to x. In step 2, we multiply both the sides by 10. Now whether to use 10 or to use 100 is dependent on the number of zeros which are there. 
10, 100, where repeating number is equal to 1. If repeating number equal to 2, then I put in 100 maybe. And that's how you solve the equation to get the value of the rational number.